Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Gross here, back from MBR Starcast. Today, with some Hearthstone gameplay for you guys, going to be jumping into the ranked ladder queue, hopefully, able to move up the ranks to eventually become number one, which probably won't happen as I don't really play enough Hearthstone to actually become number one or have enough good enough cards to do that. I have quite a few nice cards, but anyway, that's beside the point. So, I believe originally when you start playing ranked, you start off at level 25 and you move your way up. I'm now currently level 20, and you can't go any level lower than 20 once you get to that point. As I've lost, well, I got to level 18, I think was my highest, and I'm a few losing some games, I've dropped back down. So I've got quite a nice hand here. This dude is no good for me, he's a really nice card to pick up, but it's not really too good for me. I'm going to keep both of these in because they're quite, uh, even though they're not really good for my early game, they're quite nice middle class cards to have. Uh, I'll be able to sort of create a nice sort of play field for myself and thanks to me having my little recruit guy I can still summon minions so we shouldn't have too much of a problem at the moment and we have a nice silencer so it's on the right hand it's more sort of towards the sort of um, start of the middle game really than the early game but we'll have to wait and see so he's going to restore two health to me thank you very much what a nice guy I don't know why I'd do about him so we will now actually be able to take border control oh god that wasn't very nice now, was it? But we will be able to take board control because of this. We can't really do much more. It's not worth playing anything else. But we have a, I have a nice set of hand, you know, come... If he plays anything big, I'm going to be able to smash him down with my champion, true silver champion here. Plus, I can taunt up the field. I can even bring out my cult master, so I'm going to be able to draw some cards and whatnot. So I'm quite happy with my paladin. There's a couple of changes I would like to make to my deck, but I'm pretty happy overall with the overall standing of it. There's some nice cards in there which do the job and whatnot. So what I could do right now is I could actually just use my crystal up right now to summon this dude, which would mean once I clear him, I will then have a um, be able to draw a card and I have a quite a nice... He's going to have to deal with him now, so... Um, obviously he does get two damage off to me, but... Fuck it. He gives a shit about that. Not really the greatest of cards I could run right now. It's more of sort of a nice late game card if he has a big sort of damage dealer out. It has. I have won a game once before where I've had that and a mage has used. I think a fire. Yeah, a mage used fireball on me and ended up killing herself for it. So they do. He does sacrifice his charge. At least two of his charges are down now. And you know, it's not the end of the road. Sure, it's a nice kind of card for me to have, and he's taken it out. But it's not the biggest. It's not the biggest worry of mine, so I'm kind of now in a situation where I'm stuck on four, there's no point playing that guy right now. I could use this, but then it kind of gives away the fact I have it, and if he summons an ooze, it will actually destroy that. So I could just summon a paladin, I could, um, paladin, I could summon my little hand recruit, or I could then give him a divine shield, which would actually leave me a no minion out on the field, but it's not the greatest champion to give a divine shield to, but it would actually mean that I have some kind of protection and it means I'm going to be able to kind of clear the field with whatever he plays next. Probably not the greatest of all moves but I hate seeing mana crystals go to waste. I could just summon my little hand recruit on his own but at least this way I do have kind of have board control and he has to deal with it. And I have another one of these in my deck and plus two divine shields elsewhere so it's, it's not the end world and I've got nothing really... Well, oh, I've only got my owl there and I could place it on a taunt um, or I can play this down next and have a taunt even though they're not the strongest of all champions. It'll give them something to think about, plus this dude already has a divine shield as well, so... Really nice, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Sunwalker. A taunt plus a divine shield, you know, it, gives you, it really has to make your opponent do something about it. We'll see, what's he gonna play? I believe, I didn't really, I didn't, because I was in Thailand last month, I didn't play any ranked, and I never played really ranked in the beta. I think it was actually, it's only come into case in the actual official version. Um, when you when you get so far in ranked, you get all different kind of card versions and stuff. Uh, so what's he done here? He's boosted that up to four. Yeah, it's not too much of a problem. What I can do is I could just sub increase my damage on here to three, and I can still then play a taunt, which is actually going to make it quite a bit of a problem for him. And you know, it will leave him to be killed, but it won't be the end of the world. I'm actually going for that. It's quite a nice. It, it's not the uh, strongest of all taunts, but it does mean he has something to worry about now. Or I could, yeah, this this way. Um, Oh, you give me a well played. How about that? We get rid of this dude. He's now five to two, so he's got. He's going to have to use a magic card to uh, get rid of that now. So it it gives him something to worry about. And if he doesn't clear it out this this turn or puts a taunt down, then I'm going to start doing some big damage to himself. 
You've got a heal, so we've kind of got some nice cards which are going to be able to sustain me into the sort of nice mid-late game. The, the heal, the silence, plus obviously I have my true silver champion. I could actually have played that, I think, and I could have played that and killed it, but I don't know. I think this way is nice, you know, I've got, I've got board control this way, plus I have two taunts, so he's really going to have to play something. Um, so that was pretty nice. I can actually attack with it. That was That was a nice move. He might just heal himself up now. Or he could do that. So he's just cleared the whole board. Which is interesting. Uh, it wasn't the, w the worst move. But I can just summon this dude now and be like, well, I've got a big other shield. You're going to have to kind of try and break free. That was quite a nice move, what he just did then. Gain control of an enemy minion with three or less attack until the end of the turn. And because he was able to attack with it, uh, it was GG. So, yeah, ni nice little move there. Cleared out both the taunts. So I, I, well, I expected maybe to take out one of them, but yeah, very well played. But we do have this big taunt out now, so let's see what he does here. He's going to summon a taunt. He's got a heal himself now. He does go for the heal. So, what do I do right now? That is the question. We could attack him and then use this guy to finish him off because I can't actually do the damage to myself. Or we could silence him, but I'm not really too fussed about him because I'm still going to have to really think about killing him anyway. So what I could do is just chomp him down, which take him, and then play another Divine Shield, which would keep me safe. So, let's uh, chop this dude up. Like I say, I have two Divine Shields there, so we've not really got a problem. We only take one damage for it. Play another divine shield onto him, and you know, he's he's got something really to worry about again. You know, I've cleared the board once again. Unless he, I've not got any of my big late game items at the moment or cards. So, you know, Ragnaros would be pretty nice to have right now. Uh, he's somewhere in my 18 cards I have right there. The only problem really I have with this deck I'm currently using at the moment is the fact I don't think I have enough cards to make me draw cards. I think that's something I might have to look at, but then I, I really like my deck as it is. I don't know what I would change, but I don't know. That's that's a point for another day. So, really nice card, the blessing the kings here. So we can actually make something quite nice happen. What we could do is do the four damage to him, which would put him on three. Actually, it wouldn't be enough. Um, or I could. Could take him out with a taunt, then attack him with this, then boost it up this guy, which would be pretty nice. Plus, I could play the divine shield on him, which would be pretty damn nice. So let's get. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I'll take out this guy with him. Let's got rid of his taunt. Heal my guy up. I only take. Uh, I take no damage through that. And then what we want to do is we play the blessing of the kings. Onto this guy, plus a divine shield. We can wipe him out. And happy days. It does mean that I have no more divine shields. Uh, Thank you. It does mean I have no more divine shields bar my little level 2 guy, which I played earlier, whatever the fuck he's called. It doesn't really matter too much. I really don't know card names, that's one thing. I know I know what all the cards look like. If I see a card, I know what it pretty much does now, but to the names of them, that's something else. I've not got to that point. Maybe one day, but I am really enjoying Hearthstone. Since it come out on the iPad, it's made me enjoy it a lot more because I've just been able to relax in bed and you know play it before I go to sleep. And I've been enjoying it a lot more on the PC because of that, because I've been getting into it, doing the arena and stuff. And I've, I've well, I recently put another thirty-five pound on here to get the um, to get the flipping. What did I get? So I could buy more packs. That's what it was. Because you kind of need those packs, otherwise you really just lose these big item cards. Like I think this guy you get from being up to level 20 anyway. I could play him, which would give me a nice. But I haven't lost enough health. But then again, I still have this heal here, so it's not really the end of the world by playing him. And I need something big out on the field. At least this cause that now starts to make me look quite scary. I mean, yeah, we have four minions on the field. Put good six damage to him. He's only going to be able to heal through two of that unless he has some healing card. So yeah, I'm looking pretty control. If he summons anything too, you know, I can just silence it if it's anything crazy, or I can, you know, if he puts too much down, I can deal the two en damage to all the enemies. Plus, obviously, I have my little secret here, and you know, I've got another heal, so it's cool. You know, I could silence that if I wanted to, but I'm not really fast. I've got enough cards to deal with myself. It all depends what he plays. He's still got six mana. That's pretty nice. So we could actually silence that now. That's a bit of an issue. And then, um, 
Head silence. Let's we'll see. When one of your minion dies, return it to life with one health. It's a pretty nice little card to have. Um, so what could we do right here? I guess silence in the sky won't be the end of the world. It's, he's going to lose all his additional stats in as well. well Thank you. Thank you. What a nice guy. Then I chuck away, chuck away my little dude here to get rid of this guy. Um, I'm not really too fussed about him at the moment. He's not really going to cause me much of an issue. So we'll just uh, play that. We'll summon another of these dude down. And it's not really worth playing that because he's most likely going to kill one of these first. And I think I will leave it at that. He has six mana crystals left. It's not worth playing down my. Uh, eye for an eye yet because he's not really got big anything big down the only he's really thing he's really do is three damage there and maybe a charge which most like uh, which would do maybe four or five damage if he had a charge so uh pretty nice he's gonna heal one of his minions i wonder if he oh no it's silence that, should, that shouldn't work oh yeah he could do the damage to it then heal it that's pretty smart that's we'll give him a little well play because he's been keep doing it to me even though it's not really going to help well, does actually get two cards that's pretty nice you might be able to make something happen here I see what we could do is play this right now would we then be able to wipe out the board yeah if he so what's he going to do is he has to charge into my health now because he won't kill that not quite what was planned I am so let's see what he does if he charges into my health I'm just going to wipe the whole field now with my concentration so that's cool. Hmm. See what he does. What's he gonna do? He has to tap my health. Uh, we wipe the health. Well, we can wipe the whole field now, really. Or we could just summon Ragnaros. But the thing is, he's gonna attack one of them. So we're better off just to wipe the field, and we've got this big card in my hand now. So. It's, uh, you know, it means he can't heal his cards up anymore, which is fucking annoying. We'll just get rid of this guy as well, because it gives something Ragnaros not to target next turn. Play down this guy, and uh, other than that, I'm not really too fast. He's not going to be able to cause me any problems. So we'll see. It all depends if he has any big cards like my Ragnaros. He might have something big. I had to craft this guy, because 1,600 points to craft. A lot of um, stuff. He plays a big taunt, but we can kill him with this. Heals himself. He's not got anything to play. So I can get rid of him and then Ragnaros will do 8 damage to him, plus my Leper Nine, so yeah. It's worth the sacrifice of him, put the 1 damage down to him, or something Ragnaros just to make sure, and we can summon my Leper Gnome, or I can summon actually a Paladin, either one's not really, I don't know, just 2 damage next time. So yeah, if he doesn't, um, save for him pretty, or he could heal up enough, uh, free. No, he can't. It's over for him next turn unless he plays something big. Oh, he could do that. That was well really nice. Fucking hell. Oh, that's just changed things around. Oh, dear me. Dearie, dearie me. I don't know what to say now. That I was not expecting that. What was, he, what was it? Attack. Uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Oh, ow. E. Let's play when your hero takes damage to the. Yeah, this is a, quite a big card because he's not going to have any charges, I think, to play now. So we've got enough health to play with. He could end up actually killing himself. So. Um, I'll summon this. I could summon this guy down now. Because. Uh, just because I need to start chiseling at his HP and I've got nothing else to really play. So we still have my restore health, which is going to keep me in the game for a little bit. So let's see what happens. We've got two nice secrets down. If this hits me. Or he could heal himself, but still, if it hits me, then I will kill him next turn. So that was a really nice card to play. He was obviously holding on to that for a while. Let's see what he does. The thing is, if if, if his Ragnaros kills one of these two, then this dude's gonna get stronger. And if he doesn't, then and it'll still return one of them back. So we'll see. I think this game's mine because I've got the HP in my advantage. What's he gonna silence? Did he silence that? That was a pretty nice card to silence. He's restored the Hulk. Let's hope Ragnaros. It's not really a problem. Let's hope Ragnaros attacks me. Uh, it does make this guy stronger. And I do bring him back, which is not really anything too special because he's just only a little shitty guy, but I don't know. Um so three, five, six. 
Nine. That's so it's over for him, unfortunately. We just uh, put him out of his misery. So he did take my big Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, luckily, we were able to get the right cards. And to be honest, I had that big secret there. So even if he did, um, even if he did cause me some issue, my secret would have just killed him anyway. So yeah, that was a nice win to pick up. Would I think I'll probably do three video, uh, three games in this episode, and then I'll do frequent episodes if you guys kind of enjoy this whilst I'm climbing up the ladder. Thing is now, if I win, t I think when you win three games in a row, it puts you on a win streak, and that's how you can really kind of jump out the ranks a lot quicker. But obviously, it's trying to win three games in a row is the hardest point. When you go against rogues and majors, can really kind of screw you over just because they're combos. I, I hate them. Second time in a row, we've got him in my my hand. He's a really OP card for the paladin. That's why I got him in a, a pack when I just won in the arena. I couldn't believe it. Equip a 5 out of 3 Ashbury when he's dead, so I can do 15 damage to him in 3 turns, it's crazy. Uh, we'll keep the other 2 because they're quite nice cards to have. Oh god, fucking even, or, oh, I don't know, probably even worse, I don't know. It's nice to have, but <laughs> my hand at the moment is pretty shit, like, this is useless to me and so is this. Uh, until at least, or until level 8 I guess you can say him, and same with that really. Uh, we get a Divine Shield, which is right, he hasn't played anything, what he could do is play his, um, dagger and just chop him up. Let's we'll see if he does that. It's probably the smart idea because he gains map control that way. He should attack it. He'd be dumb if he takes my health. Let's we'll see what he does. Yeah, smart. He takes one damage for it anyway, so it's not the end of the world, but because of it he keep, he gains or he clears the, the map, which is the most important thing for him. Uh, we'll summon another one. There's no point wasting my divine shield on him. He may just, or he can chop him up again, and plus he can summon a minion now, so see what he does. He's taken two damage and that's permanent damage because they have no heals or anything to do anything so let's see what's he going for here. It's quite a nice little card to bring out onto the field. So what do we do right now? Um, so oh dearie me I could play this plus the divine shield onto my minion which wouldn't be the most effective way of doing things, but I've not really got too much else to do, I just don't want to play just a little minion as only least I have kind of have uh, board control in this way. It gives him something to worry about, it's not really scary, but it does give him some kind of threat, at least he won't be able to chop up with his dagger now. We'll see, I could then play my taunt again, that would be the same move which I played last game. You could do that, that was very nice. This is what I hate, is Rogue have all these flipping moves. Do you have two damage to an undamaged minion? It costs nothing. Like, what the fuck's that all about? Uh, that was a nice move. So we want to deal. F we're gonna have to get rid of the taunt, really, aren't we? Which is kind of a bit sucky. We could silence the taunt. I really need to get rid of this guy. Oh, do you me? I think I'm just gonna do the free damage to the taunt. Clear him out of the way. Might get rid of this guy as well now. Does waste my divine shield, and I don't have any minions out on the field. But it's kind of it makes his hand, or at least he doesn't have as many out on the field now. And what he could do is just summon a dagger and kill me. We can't do that. He's gonna start chunking some big HP away from me now with the way he's playing. This is quite a nice big card to get. It changed one. Da it changed one to uh, make him a lot weaker. I've got to play this. I've not really got much else to do. I can't afford to keep taking four damage like this at the moment. So it does make him a lot less scarier, and then we can summon my wolf, and then he'd only be taken by him. Um, I might just summon another little paladin because he's not going to attack my paladin anyway. So, well, actually, he would attack my paladin with that. That would be the smartest way to play it. But I could summon my wolf, and he wouldn't expect it. My wolf plus my taunt would allow me to actually get rid of one of them. Well, the four out of five, the one out of five is not really important anymore. It all depends what he plays. Your magic shall not save you. Is he silencing? I didn't know you could... Wow. I didn't know you could unsilence... Oh, I guess it was... That's really good. Wow, that's kind of... Uh, fucked things up. It's pretty much game over, I think. This is why I just hate the rogue. They just do play all the fucking kind of shit like this. It's just like, oh my god, what the fuck. And I have really no answer to this at all at the moment. Can I, uh, can I free silence him to make it happen? I have big uh, level 8 cards, but I don't think I'm going to be alive to that point. Um, 
the only really thing what I can save my life right now is I, I, I'm gonna have to make these taunts just to kind of delay them and then heal mm. myself. Put one a divine shield just to kind of delay the whole process of this. I've got nothing else I can do. I really have no. I have no, no other way I can play this at the moment. I just don't have any enough cards. I'm not gonna be able to kill anything. Well, I could summon that, but then I'd have to waste both these just to kill one, and I've got nothing. So. Um, we heal myself. At least we got two taunts up. We'll put a divine shield on one, so it's going to kind of delay it. But he's probably just—I just hate that. Wherever the fuck that card is, where is it? Backstab. Deal two damage to an undamaged minion. It's crazy. Just the fact it costs nothing. That's just amazing. <laughs> you can just play like a big card off of it. Um, that's really nice. That was a really, really good move. There's cards like that. It's just like what the fuck. Which fucking, they can just wipe the board so easy. Now nah, he's made them taunt, so. Yeah, what's that? Mm. It's game over. Even if I pay Ragnaros, it doesn't matter, he's only going to take out one. Um, so the thing is, I can't even wipe it out with this. That's it, it's game over, unfortunately. Well, it does have a Divine Shield plus taunt. It's probably better than playing Ragnaros, I guess. Put your faith in the light. I just love the epic music when he gets summoned. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but yeah, it is game over. Thing is, he just can take it out well, with this. Thank you. Or oh, he could just destroy an enemy minion. Like, what the fuck? That's why I just hate the rogue. I get this guy, but it doesn't fucking matter. But the problem with the rogue, he just completely just. Thanks to his dagger against the paladin, I think the rogues are really strong because every time I summon one of my little paladin, my little reinforcement dudes, he just summons his knife and cuts it up. He takes one damage, but it doesn't matter because he keeps doing that, and then he gets these big cards out where he can just he can just completely keep wiping my field. It's very similar to sort of the mage, and then he just delays it out to get a decent combo going, where he really makes his weapon really strong, or you know just summon out that four out of five thing because he used that mana crystal that just made it. I just couldn't nothing I bring out was going to do enough damage to it. You know. And he had two of them. Is that the same? I don't know if that's the same rogue. You guys would have to tell me. But could well be. And that's the third time, the third game now I've now had where I've got this guy. What the fuck in a row? Um, I need a really big better hand than this. Even though these two cards are nice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe my whole hand. I'd like to keep those two, but my I really need something to get me going early game. Even, that's an even worse hand, dearie me. Uh, this the thing with uh, Hearthstone. I find is you really need if you get that if you get a poor hand, it can really make a well, leper gnome. That was that's a good card to pick up. You sacrifice that, but you know it's not the end of the world. At least it takes two damage from it. Well, I take four damage actually. Um, he has to kill it. Or you could do that. Oh yeah, uh, that was pretty nice. Did take two damage, but. To summon that guy out. That's a pretty cool card that he's got all shiny like that. This dude's a nice card to get out. The Charged Divine Shield at level 6. Something like that would have been quite useful last game. But the problem is now he has this guy out, so. And what he could do if he really wanted is he can just summon a dagger out and clear it and then dig the free damage to me and not have to worry about it. Uh, so my option is. Yeah, he goes for me. Oh, he's gonna summon another one. Nice. Two. Is that one showing there? Interesting. What I could do is I could play this again to wipe him out. Because he's going to do six damage to me otherwise, and i got nothing really else to do. Or I could summon a pallid. Could summon my um, little reinforced dude. Mm. I've already got nothing to play. I've got nothing to play at all. Fuck it, I'm going to summon my reinforced dude. It would mean he'd do six damage to me. All depends if he takes this guy. At least I can kill him and then wipe him out that way. See what happens. See what he does. If he's if he's smart, he has summon his dagger out and kill kill my reinforced guy. Because then he can do six damage to me. Or oh, he can still do six damage to me, but I can't kill him then. <laughs> just fucking rogues. Fucking jokes. And I, I have nothing to deal with this. Nothing to deal with this at all. The only option is I can summon this. Which I should have really done last turn, to be honest, but uh, he's just going to whittle my HP down even more. I have to get rid of one of them. There's nothing else I can do. 
again, I've just got, just got no cards to go my way at all. I'm just, so he's now going to do 5 guaranteed damage to me, which is going to put me on 15. Which is really, 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 really bad. The only good thing what I do have is that I have my Charge Divine Shield. But he's going to kind of be wasted just for the sake of that guy. So now he does 15 damage to me. What's he going to summon? He has to... I'm surprised he's not playing anything. Oh, that's uh, interesting. What we could do is... Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of that. I have to get rid of that guy. Then he could attack that, plus that, which would be smart. But there's not really much... I just... There's nothing I can do at the moment. I have to get rid of this guy. I can't afford to keep taking damage like I'm doing. It's not really how I'd like to actually play this charge, but I, I need to get some kind of map control going for me. I, I really have nothing. So if he's smart, he he could kill that, plus with his dagger he could, or he's going to play, or most likely he's going to have some card where he can deal uh, two damage to a minion. And it doesn't even cost him any crystals, let's, let's see. That's what kept happening to the last time we played that rogue. We started the game off so all so well, winning the first game as the Paladin. Who are you against? Are oh, we getting the Hunter? This could be quite nice, see how he plays this. So what's he going to do? He's got map control again now. I do actually... Uh, he should probably, I guess he's just trying to whittle down my HP, he knows I'm really low. Which is a smart way, I guess. He does really have map control now. He could pretty much kill me next... I've just got nothing to wipe the board. Where's that? If I had that 4 out of 2 thing, I'd wipe this whole board right now and I'd be in control of the game. But it's just, you don't look at the cards really. And I'm in a situation where I really can't do anything. I really can. I'm in a really sticky situation. Um, like the only thing I can really do is summon this guy. Play a divine shield onto him and try and take out or take out this guy. He's the most important thing. But at the end of the day, the damage he's going to do to me next turn is going to be too high. One, so it's four, five, six damage he can do. Plus, he might just have, well, you know, seven. He's, he's going to have a big card there, guaranteed. See what he does. He's going for the health. He has to go for the health. Uh, he has a chua. Fucking. Great. That was nice. Gets that. Yeah, it's game over. Yeah, he's won it, unfortunately. He summoned two cards because of it, but it doesn't matter. Boom, boom, boom. Fucking rogues for the jokes. Absolute jokes. Well, uh, there goes so much for uh, a great start to climbing up the rank ladder. It's completely gone downhill. I said I was going to do three games this episode, but I can't leave on a loss. I was hoping to do a lot better than this. <laughs> it's just rogues. I've, I've, really not, I've never really played the rogue because I'm not, I've not really sat down to work and understand how the combo works. You've got to play something together, I think, to make a combo, but. It just twice in a row they've absolutely just annihilated me. I've not even st it's, it, like a lot goes again down to the cards you have, and I've just not had the cards go my way really. Like now I have it. You know, and I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy and keep that in my hand because that's if I if I had that this or well, last game I had it, but it was no good for me. But or well, the game before last, if I had that last game, I would uh, it would have been completely different because I could have wiped it out and start again. Always flipping level eight. So what good is this to me? I can't do anything with it. I've just got crappy hands. Um, I hope he doesn't have anything at level one. If he doesn't have anything, at, he could summon a leper now. Which he is, which is a bit annoying. Um. So if he's smart, he just arms up and takes out, and his leper name stays alive. Let's see what he does. It's the problem. Or he's gonna he's gonna play. What? Uh, so he's just trying to get something big out next turn, I guess. What we can actually do is kill the leper name, with, and then uh, this guy's gonna come stronger, which will make him a bit of a threat. But he will have four mana crystals now, or he could have five mana crystals actually next turn because he's got the mana crystal itself. Plus the druid have other cards, which mean you can get more mana, like what he just played. But there's ones where he can gain two mana additional crystals for that turn only, I think, something like that. You've got quite nice cards. Yeah, here it is. So, uh, yeah, you can summon a five creature now. Big taunt. Nice. I like it. I could actually just kill him with this. Just hope you get a divine shield. 
Negative. Divine Shield would have been really nice in that situation. What I could do is clear this guy out. I would take free damage for it, but it would bolster this guy up quite big time. It's, it's the kind of thing I would sacrifice him. Or I could. Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna do this. It means I take three additional damage from it. I gain the two, so it puts me up to 28, but I take five damage from it. But it does bolster up this guy, which is what I'm really looking forward to. Of course, so he's always got a permanent additional mana crystal. I didn't realise that. That's really actually AP, that, um, that flipping card he just played somewhere. I don't know where it is, it's like disappeared. Uh, it's a really nice card he played because he just, he, that's just huge. That's quite huge. Alright, so again we can just clear out this guy with this dude which will make him stronger again. And then we could even bolster him up plus a little minion. Let's, uh, let's clear out this guy because we want to keep him as long alive as long as possible. He's my main sort of damage source. Does mean my thing's got, I've only got one of them on my deck. Maybe two would be worthwhile, I'm not sure. Let's bolster him up, let's just try and make him really strong. We could actually go for a massive power damage here. And the, he's going to have to deal with him now. He has to deal with him. Ten damage, that's huge. He's got, he has to do something to kill him now. He has to. If he doesn't, he, it's just game over. Taunt's not going to do enough. Thing is, I could sacrifice these two. You lose the one damage from this guy, but it doesn't really matter because I can play this guy and get the additional cards. Or we could actually de play this dude down and then sacrifice that minion, and this guy might be. No, he won't be. That's the best way to do it, actually. So he dies. It's an additional one plus onto him. He dies. Yeah, it's actually game over. There you go. How about that? Like I said he should have took him out. That was a lot better. That's what we wanted. Uh, at first, uh, it was just the rogues what fucked me up completely. They were just way too strong. They just cleared the board. And I didn't get enough decent cards whilst there. You know, I had the sort of perfect combo going. And the druid, you know, he does have some cards, but he's not like the rogue where you can just like wipe out my flipping field or like a mage. Uh, so annoying. So, yeah, that, that was that was really good. It was kind of what I wanted. I'm happy with that result. We were able to. To go for two for two, but because I lost those two games, did put me all the way back down to where I started. But luckily, you don't go any lower than 20, even though I wouldn't have done. But um, so hopefully, in the next episode, we can get on a winning streak and start climbing up the ladder a lot quicker as we went kind of back down it. But there you go. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of episode I'm going to be doing. If you like it, please like the video. It lets me know that you guys enjoy it and it's happy days. And leave a comment, you know, if you want, if you think I need to improve on something, you know, I'm still, I think I've got a lot better at Hearthstone since I, since I was playing it in the beta a couple of months back. I understand the principles of the game a lot more and sort of that, how important what you got to kind of do. But you guys may think that I've done something, I may have done something newbie which would have may have changed one of the games. You know, let me know what you think, guys. And take it easy. Have a great day. Peace.